Hello, back again with another post bag video. I've got a bunch of electronic items from AliExpress coming. Um, I'm gonna go through them, usual format, explain what they are, what I'm gonna use them for. And in the description below, I will put some affiliate links to where you can buy them on AliExpress. So let's just get stuck in, move all these out the way. Just our first one. So what is this? Oh yeah, let's open this up. This is actually a wrap, a shrink wrap for 18650 batteries. So it's plastic wrap and it's a tube and you heat shrink it over 18650 batteries that are damaged. Uh, the actual packaging is damaged. And you don't want to cause shorts or anything. So this is a yellow version. This is to go probably with a neat um, 18650 battery pack. It's very light, this one. Let's see what's in here, very tiny. Very well wrapped, lots of packaging. These are all the same. Oh yeah, these are capacitive touch ports. Get one out. And you can see these, little touch pad on the back. Got a little IC and uh, some passives to help with the signal. And you've got VCC ground and you've got a, an IO data line. This is the TTP223 capacitive touch IC uh, and you've got two options if you short these pads you can have it latching on latching off or just on off as you touch it. Okay next one. Some very good wrapping going on this time. Yeah, wow, okay. <laughs> this is a cool little power supply. It is a five volt or USB to 3.3 volt power supply. And it uses the AMS 1117 uh, LDO regulator. Uh, you can have five volts coming in from the USB and it'll give you 3.3 or five, or apparently you can back feed five volts and it's essentially a 3.3 volt regulator. This was kind of handy, I just thought I'd have this as a little parts drawer. If you need 3.3 volts, you plug it into some kind of USB power socket and uh, you got it for tinkering about with. And it was pennies. Okay, look. Ah, tweezers. These are really cool ceramic tweezers. And the black, very heavy. Uh, ideal for SMD stuff. And the tips are black ceramic. Um, really nice. Really uh, feels very heavy duty, very heavy and weighty in your hand. I didn't want, I've got some normal metal tweezers, but they tend to be a bit uh, sticky and staticky when you're picking things up. Uh, whereas these are supposed to be supposed to be better. Very nice and weighty. Right then. Pop him back in. Two things in here. We've got here buttons. Tactile push buttons. But they are not clicky buttons. These are the soft silicon buttons. Shh. Makes no noise. And I was going to use these for like a little game console, like a little game hat. Uh, you don't get the usual clicky clicky sound. It's nice and soft. The difference with these is the pinouts. So these are like a standard eight by eight footprint. 
Um, you usually get a lot of these, but they have this weird uh, footprint where it's just two leads and it's not breadboard friendly sizing and they're very odd sizing to use where these are, you can just plug these straight into a breadboard. Very cool. And in here, that's it. Uh -huh. We have a tiny TFT. Very tiny. This is a 1.8, I hope. Yes, 1.8 TFT SPI display. Uh, yeah, I think I wanted this as, I think it's gonna be like an old arcades console. We wanted a really small resolution. What's the resolution? 128 by 160. The size of the SD card, it's huge. Um, yeah, just a small, small display. Very cool. Put that there. Lots in here. Get it all open. I do like a good mix bag. Always try and order more than one thing from a supplier. It seems very wasteful to get just one thing. Yeah, so what have we got? Okay, this is pretty obvious. This is a WS2812 stick, NeoPixel stick. It's like a copy of the uh, Adafruit stick. You've got eight NeoPixels in a row. Ground, five volts data in. Yeah, really handy. Good to have for little projects and things. I think I was running out of uh, running out of them, so I thought I'd get another one in. Very cool, and it's black as well. Sometimes a blue. Be careful when you get these, because they tend to have different sized dimension PCBs. So keep an eye out. This looks like it's for a Wemos. Wemos D1 Mini. Open it up. Yeah. This is like a prototype in a uh, dual board. So you plug in a Wemos and you can plug in a different shield or hat, uh, sensor hat, and you can have them side by side. And you've got your stacking headers. So yeah, this is just to help uh, mess about with Wemos D1 minis and play about. And it was, it was crazy, it was like 30p or something like that, really cheap. It's basically just a bit of circuit board. Now this comes with this. This is a temperature probe or a thermometer, however you want to describe it. And it goes with this little board. So what this does, it's got a relay on it. Now you've got the temperature probe, your temperature probe going in there. You've got your power and you've got your output. Yeah, you've got your output of your relay. So when you switch it on, essentially it's a temperature controlled relay for something like a DIY uh, fridge unit or something where you want cooling. So you would set a temperature that you want the relay to activate and cool from. You plug in your thermometer, temperature probe. This would go off and record some kind of uh, measurement. And once it gets too hot, uh, it would kick in and activate the relay and this would go off to something like a fan or a cooling unit or a, one of those cool little uh, Petier elements. Yeah, I think I saw this from a, what did I see it from? I think it was like a DIY fridge cooling unit. I thought that would be handy. The official name is the W1209 board. But, cool. Now these two kind of go together and kind of go with that. These are BMS. BMS, BMS is, is, is. So here we go. So this is a charging um, BMS board and it is a 3S. So it's to connect uh, three 18650 lithium ion batteries in series. Uh, this is where you would put your power and your discharge 
and then you would hook up the batteries in series uh, and this takes care of all the uh, discharge and charging of the three batteries uh, this is to go on basically like a 3s battery pack which is what this is going to be for if I want to make it all neat and tidy so that is that one and to go with that this is oops here we go this is its a little bit bigger brother this is a 4s uh, BMS so essentially the same thing um, you've got your power and your discharge points and then you would hook up the batteries in series one two three four in series but what this does have is you've got your little connector here which connects onto there this connects with the wire and then this will go to a battery balancing device so when it's charging uh, it will balance the battery pack correctly this apparently doesn't so it will just charge them as they are whereas this will actually manage the charge and make sure all the batteries uh, the single one the two and the three and the four are all uh, at the right voltage level so you don't get any uh, issues with your battery bank so yeah this is a lot more useful than this so i think i'll probably make a 4s battery pack there you go and this is cable and the final one I've got my address on the front. Ta da! This is a reel of lights, a reel of LEDs. These reels are absolute garbage, they are always breaking when you get them. Uh, but what type of LEDs are they? They are not NeoPixels or addressable, these are just RGB LEDs, but these are RGBW. Yeah, so that is red, green, blue, and white. As you can see the little white chip, white chip with it. So the special one with these is these chips are 50-50 RGBW all-in-one package. What you tend to get with RGBW strips is they'll have RGB and then white, or RGB and then white, RGB and then white. But this is all-in-one chip. So you get a nice light distribution. This is 60 LEDs per meter. This is a five meter strip. And it's gonna be going in my conservatory. Uh, currently got some hooked up. I'll show you a video of it. Um, it's basically a diffuser for the light, uh, just to make a nice ambient light in the conservatory, make it all nice and chilled out when we are having parties and soirees and reading our literature or watching YouTube. So yeah, that is it. Very handy. Got that on sale. I think they will probably be on sale on the 11.11 sale as well soon. Uh, and that is all for now. If you've enjoyed watching this and you got this far, thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you are not. And I will see you next time. Cheers, guys.